Hi, welcome to Distance from Wax Buffalo. I'm Alicia. Each week we jump on with a new creative and talk about who they are, what they're doing, and how they're staying busy and creative during this time of social distancing. Um, I'm very excited to introduce you to my friend Tyler Reaver on this episode. Um, Tyler and I met here in Lincoln. That's where he grew up. That's where he's from. But he now resides in New York City with his lovely wife, Michelle, and his new teeny weeny squishy baby, Teddy. So we'll talk a little bit about life in New York and what he's been doing. And then also, one of the cool things that Tyler has created is called the Hobby Club. Actually, a reintroduced adventure because this is something he did before, but he's brought it back for quarantine. And it's a four-month, once-a-week hobby that's intent on teaching you something new. So you get a little bit of information about a new hobby, a full education on how to do it yourself just with things you have in your home. So that part's really cool during quarantine. And then you get a little homework. And then, of course, because of the way that Tyler is and the way that he thinks, he's created such a cool community through this project. Um, making new friends, learning new hobbies. It's pretty cool. And it's a really big reflection of the way he thinks. I'm excited for you to meet him. Thanks so much for jumping on, Tyler. It's really good to see you. Hello. How are you? I am so glad you're here. I'm great. I'm great. How are you doing? I am, uh, all things considered, I'm wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a bit of a, a, a whirlwind, I would say, even more so. Uh, <laughs> few weeks than even all of us like not only are you quarantined but you're also quarantined with a very very new human um yeah. so just to start will you introduce yourself a little bit and then um maybe go into your story just a little bit Talk yeah sure bit. um okay my name is tyler reaver <laughs> i am a originally a nebraskan uh still deep down hardcore nebraskan for right. life you can't get you can't get rid of it Still it's love corn on the cob. permanent. Oh my gosh, well, that's a separate podcast. Um, yeah, grew up I'll send in you Nebraska. some with your candle. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I will. I will do this. <laughs> there's got to be a way to do so, it. <laughs> tell me there's a corn scent. Is that an option? Is there an essential <gasps> oil for made. corn? We oh need gosh. to find it. Uh, corn essential okay. oil. Okay, sorry. I interrupted you. I got excited about we, corn. We got a little off track. Maybe. <laughs> hardly. Um, yeah, I spent the, spent the early part of my life in Nebraska, studied journalism and advertising, and uh, went into work in advertising, telling stories on behalf of brands, uh, which is where our connection came from, mm -hmm. and moved out to the West Coast uh, to work in advertising some more, and then made a really random uh, and um, surprising jump from the for-profit space to the non-profit space and uh, moved across the country with a single suitcase and started working at Charity Water, doing the same thing, telling, telling stories about uh, the impact of clean water and the people we're serving around the world. So I live in New York now, uh, just not right now. Right now I'm in Virginia with my wife's mom and uh, sister. But hunker that, down and just trying to get through it. Well, was that like, a, I mean, you knew you were about to have a baby all the stuff's going on in New York city. Like, what was that conversation? Like, do we stay, do we get out of here? Like, how'd you guys, yeah, I, I think we were just like uh, barely ahead of the curve. If, uh -huh. if we were due a little bit later, I think we would have maybe tried to pivot, but instead it felt like it's going to hit, but maybe we can have the baby first. And, um, even the day that we had the baby, we were at the hospital during the day and it felt we had a doctor's appointment and it, you just feel the vibe in the hospital is starting to get a little scary. It was the day that New York declared a state of emergency. So it was like oh, tension starting there. to build. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were like, I think she's having contractions. Should we come upstairs? And they basically said, no, it could be days from now. Go home. Um, we went home. I went to the grocery store. Her water broke while I was at the grocery store. It was like, I'm half trying to prepare dry goods for our pantry. Yeah. And then yeah. And then it was a whirlwind of a delivery. Oh my but the, the next like five days were just so many um, building, uh, you know, compounding events uh, yeah. around the country and around the world. So we left the day we came home from the hospital, we left for Virginia. We just packed everything up and went yeah. to Virginia. And that's where you've been. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, Did you get to actually be in the room with her? Had they started that where they weren't letting dads in or I was, yeah, very, very fortunate to, well, oh, I good. think truly like days later, they, they said, nobody can come with you. Yeah. So I got, yeah, I got to be there the whole time, which was amazing. I'm so glad. Oh, Me too. and now you're in Virginia and have you been hearing from people in New York? Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Keeping in touch with everybody. I, I, I think generally everybody, if you're, if you're being smart and safe, um, it's not so scary. Your life is limited, obviously, but. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the hard part is just being patient. Yeah. I was thinking about you with that because you travel so much and you're such oh. an adventurer and Michelle is too, right? Like you guys yeah. do a lot of traveling together. And like, I think anybody that's like is antsy in that like adventure way, like it feels a little koopy. You're so right. I, just like all the plans that you're putting on hold mm -hmm. um, and for work, both of us travel internationally for work. So it's yeah. like all those yeah. partnerships kind of get put on hold. So yeah. that's really hard. But we, I think because we knew we were having the baby, the last few trips that we took felt so special. We were so intentional mm -hmm. while we were there. I have a bottle of cologne, this ridiculous cologne that I bought in Greece. <laughs> And I'm, I'm not even wearing the cologne. I just, for nostalgia, I'll like spray it and like walk through it. It's You're like back on like, the, these Grecian streets. Yeah, and like exactly. Gloriousness. Oh my gosh, I love. Uh, oh my gosh, I love though how scents can send you back. Maybe we should huge. make you a, a Grecian candle today. Oh hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is well, quite a series. We've got the corn. We've got Greece. I know it's Greece corn. It's it's going to be a a doozy it's, of a candle. I think. <laughs> Do you, okay, so I I have been loving Hobby Club and um, oh, I feel you. like you are a person with high mental energy. And so I was kind of curious, <laughs> was it like you're in Virginia, you're hanging out, like snuggling with Teddy and you're just like, I got to do something. Where did it, yeah. where, where, yeah, what was the impetus for Hobby 100%, Club? 100% um, creative restlessness for sure. <laughs> and I, I think at home, at least I have outlet, like I cook all the yeah. time, have little creative projects or people that I'm doing creative things with. And to be here in this big house and have little of my own tools or ways to, to participate or, um, or settle that urge, I guess. It was like, I just yeah. need, I need a hobby yeah. Um, yeah. or a whole bunch of them. Let's just try something every week. <laughs> well, you talk a little bit about what Hobby Club is for those that don't know. It's gloriousness. Yeah. For my entire life, I've been pretty obsessed with clubs. I think uh, strong includer inside me that wants to bring people together yeah. usually for like silly and obscure reasons um <laughs> and i'm very fortunate to have a bunch of people in my life who've had really unique hobbies coin collecting or stamp collecting and i think every time i've heard somebody talk passionately about something that obscure there's part of me that's like i could get into this i just like naturally i'm like there's a community of people that are really into stamps and i need to i need to know more uh, they have to have <laughs> stories <laughs> um, so, so hobby club, uh, came together a couple years ago as just a way to explore a bunch of different hobbies throughout the year. It was one hobby every month for the entire year. And I did that for a few years in a row, had a couple hundred people who were just like participating in this thing together, total strangers who were sharing photos and stories. And, um, so quarantine just felt like if we could create a quarantine version where you're just using stuff that you have at home. You yeah, don't have to go out yeah. in the world. It could be fun. So we do it. Yeah. It's, um, it's 16. It's just like a sprint four months. Every, every week is a new hobby. Yeah. And, and they're just, which is like, faster than they were coming out before. Right. So it's, has it been a little yeah. more intense? Yeah. Yeah. It is intense. Yeah. You're like, Oh my gosh, I gotta get, I gotta make that jerky <laughs> because tomorrow <laughs> we move on to horchata. Yeah. Yeah. This the, the I think they've been so fun. Like that uh the face mask one, the coffee yes. turmeric yogurt. Like I think it might have changed my life. <laughs> also, <laughs> but I mean like with the hobby club, I feel like there are things where you're like, well, I I can do this now. Like hot sauce is not as scary as I thought it was. And exactly. I love hot sauce. So many yeah. I, I I think I've been blown away at like how many of these hobbies touch on the same ingredients. So it's like some apple cider vinegar really carries the weight. Yes. <laughs> Oh, true it's like in the shrub it's in the sauce it's in the yeah exactly. good in the, some of the masks right <laughs> yeah i guess buy a lot of that and you can do anything <laughs> if you're stuck in quarantine i did love too that it was like stuff that you could only find at the, at the house like uh we're gonna be coming up soon making the melts with uh just old candles you have in your house which i think is going to be hilarious it's, it's brilliant <laughs> I actually, after I talked yeah. to you, I was like scouring the house, going around like this candle's perfect. This candle's right, perfect. Right, right. You find so many old candles, and then like all you have all these vessels. It'll be really funny, I think. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's gonna be and, awesome. And scenty. Well, yeah. speaking of, let's start your candle a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get some wax in here, and then tell me a little bit about like the scents that you're drawn to. Like, uh, what is what is your favorite? It can be like a memory. It could be oh, a your go-to. I mean, I think the the memory ones are really tied to food. 
um, and and like more, I don't know, like richer, deeper flavors, tobacco-y yeah. type flavors uh, oh, yes, yes. is the stuff that, that sticks in my mind, kind of the woodsy type stuff. Woodsy, You're right, tobacco-y, but... that would be really fun to put together. What did we do for your wedding? Because we have, oh my gosh, did we do a, a, a bunch of them? Uh, yeah, we, I think we did two. I think we did one that was kind of grapefruity and then yes. one that was tobacco-y. Yes. Okay. And I thought we did. were so yeah. good. So let's do a little. Ugh. I wonder if we could do like a citrusy tobacco, like a lemon tobacco. Would it be weird? Ooh, let's go I don't weird. Know. Let's go Not weird. Not as weird as the Grecian corn we were going to do. So Grecian corn, a splash of apple cider vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> so great. People are going to get their kale and be like, oh. <laughs> It'll be a, like a ride. Okay, so we're gonna put a little citrus. I'm gonna put a little tangerine and then lemon. Ooh. And then I think we do like a little bit of um, maybe like oak and then we'll do some tobacco and see what we can get out of it. Oh my gosh, you, do you just get to do this all the time? Just play mad scientist? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really, really fun. And sometimes they're, honestly, they're rarely bad. Sometimes you're just like, ah, it's all right. And then sometimes you're like, <gasps> okay, how do I, I replicate know what that? A, I, I should have probably written that down. what a bad one smells like. I, so I like tried, um, sometimes I think when you like put rosemary and citrus together, which you think would actually be really beautiful. Cause like when you cook with it, it smells really yeah. good, but there's something about the rosemary and the citrus that almost smells like a, my best way to describe it is vomity. So you end up with a little bit of like, oh, oh, oh that doesn't smell very good at all. Um, all right. But Alicia, have you considered yeah. selling just like a prank yeah. candle, an Let's April Fool's it. candle, and it's just like this one smells like foot and bo <laughs> and vomit, and you literally send it to somebody like, "Here's a terrible, terrible candle." <laughs> I actually think it would be so funny, wouldn't it? Or I, it like starts out really nice, like roses, and then it just starts to kind of smell <laughs> like under the seal. Yeah, what you will happened? you will unlock a dead fish smell as you go. <laughs> oh, dead fish would be so good. In fact, uh, it's funny that you bring that up because, you know, we live on the lake here. And oh, yeah. Our first little floaty dead fish today and little ox like age three, you know, is just like, I mean, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's sleeping. And we were all just like resting. Mm -hmm. He's resting, buddy. Sleeping fish. Oh. Let's back up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was sad. OK, so we'll let this kind of marinate. It actually does smell really good, Tyler. Okay. It's like uh, it's like tobacco. -y, but it also has like a little bit of citrus. Like, I feel like and kind of oaky, woodsy. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. It's like kind yeah. of the, I think the top notes are tobacco -y, but I think you're gonna have like that after smell where you're like, it's different, it's citrusy. And then of course we're putting them in this little teeny weeny like, paint can. So perfect. So we'll wick that because we thought it felt like a hobby. A hundred percent, to to yeah. Club. And then it ha comes with this like cute little lid. And so we will, we have to pound the lid on to send it to you. And then you have to pry it off like a little pink can, oh like a little gosh. special surprise inside. <laughs> how's it? How's the newborn uh, life going? It's getting better every single day. And anybody, what I think what I was surprised by is that nobody has really complained. Yeah. Nobody said really? like this That's is really good. hard. No, no, no. I mean like in in people telling me about having oh! a child. <laughs> it's like guys, they, you're doing great then. <laughs> They're like, it's a, it's a miracle. This is unbelievable. Like the first two months we were just like, our rule is we can't both want to throw them out the window at the same time. <laughs> like one person can be really mad. The, the other, other person has, has to, to really love calm. him. But oh it is gosh, so like freaking hard. You are sleepless yeah. and he, and it yeah. is thankless. Like he doesn't smile at you. He doesn't know anything. He poops yes. the second you clean his poop up. So you're like, gosh, that's hard. Um, and it just feels so exhausting. And then yeah. you get to like two months and he starts smiling and you're like, oh my gosh, you're perfect. Oh yeah, it's the best. And and it's, like, like you know, you like each stage is like even more fun. But like, I do agree the exhaust, it's like an unexplainable exhaustion and nobody, I'm sure people like told me before I had a kid, I'm sure people told you and you're like, okay, <laughs> yeah, tired. I've done all nighters, you know, I've blown across, whatever. It's different, it's totally different. <laughs> I just didn't yeah. sugarcoat it. We had like family Zooms. And they're like, how are you? I'm like, we're miserable. We're dying. This is, this is a journey we're on. We we're done? walking through the desert. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I think quarantine uh, does add some best. challenges, but. Oh, totally. Yeah, it's been. Well, um, and don't you think too, like, I mean, I think this is like such an awesome situation that you have, but it's not what you dreamed about. And it, it's 
Like right. not only did you like bring home like a new little squish, but like everything that you had planned for like that first baby in your house and in the city and strolling down, oh, you know, in New York city. I'm sure that's, I would have dreamed all the dreams and it was kind of taken away. Yeah. Yeah. That's There's exactly how that goes with that too. And there is, you're right. There's such a silver lining and what a awesome blessing to be able to live with our mother-in-law or my mother-in-law and for her to get to be a part of his life for the first oh three gosh, months is yeah. who would have ever, uh, I think grandmothers orchestrated the coronavirus. Grandmothers <laughs> right. around the world came together and they're like, you must come how do to we my get home. them all back to us? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is a good theory. I think you might be onto something, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Shall we pour your candle? Yes. This is more. This is a kind of a funny one because usually you can see like the wax coming up, and you won't really be able to see it with this one. But <laughs> trust this me, it's so very cool. magical, right? Now. <laughs> and here it is. Oh my gosh! It's so cute. I can't believe oh how fast God. this is. Right. It actually. The, this little thing has been. Uh, like the process in the studio is like a little bit more intense than we use like these yeah, huge vats. Be, yeah. We found this little guy and I have been pouring candles like every day, which is just like, gives me a little bit of life and like being able to like have a conversation with somebody else from far away. Oh. It just feels like the world's smaller right now, you know, yeah. and we can pour a candle together and, and I'll it send you this so one. Personal. So you can see what has been created. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll make a small batch of these and we'll sell them online. And then the proceeds will go to the Lincoln Food Bank. So, oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, that's, it's really good. That's a great idea. I hope you like it. It smells like earthy and tobacco-y and with like a little hint of something different. This is the torture part, like to do the <laughs> Zoom and then to be like, it smells great. I'm yeah, like, I'm, I love your candle. And you're like, I would, I would like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, well, thank you so wait. much for hanging out this afternoon. Oh my, and thank you. Thank you for doing like this. like Michelle just, and Teddy for me. Thank you for everybody. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll say hello to everybody. You too. Okay, okay. Okay, good. And uh, I'll pack this up with some corn. Okay, I'll figure that out. <laughs> um, and then we'll chat soon. I'm, I'll keep pushing for you to come here. And then also I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll work on that, um, the melt info. So we'll oh, be yeah. hanging out yeah. on Hobby Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't Thanks wait. Thanks for asking us. <laughs> All oh, right, man. man. Well, Great to see you. It was so good to see you too. Talk soon. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so of course, we will make a small batch of these. It will come with the cutest little Hobby Club sticker on the top. Um, and oh my gosh, I do have to tell you a funny story. As I was pouring the candle, I like didn't think about how these little tins uh, are a little bit hotter than our glass vessels. And I was like, oh, oh okay, I've got to set that down. So be careful when you burn it. I have test burned these and they burn wonderfully, but it is a little bit hotter <laughs> when you touch it. I'm so glad that you could join us and meet Tyler and hear about Hobby Club. To sign up for Hobby Club is super simple. You just go to hobbyclub.org um, and there's a little button you can click and join the club. It's super fun and there's still so many more hobbies to come. In fact, we're this week and we're going to be teaching how to make melts with candles that you already have in your house and how to like soup them up and just basically use the things that you have at home to create a big waxy mess in your kitchen you know, like I love to do. As always, I'm so grateful that you jumped on and spent a little time with us here on Distance. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon.